All right, this is Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 4. Uh, just like Lesson 3, where uh, we were adding with the arrow method, this time we are going to be subtracting using the arrow method. Uh, specifically, we're going to be subtracting multiples of 100 with some thrown-in tens that we're going to include in our subtraction. So let's get started on this. So the directions say solve using the arrow method. And so we're going to do that really quickly because by this point in the, our lessons, I think our students are starting to get the hang of the arrow method. So 750, we're going to start here, minus 400. So we're going to, we could do this in one fell swoop, subtract 400. So the idea would be students are going to say, well, we have 700s. We're going to take away 400s, which means we're going to be left with 300s. And then we have the 50, because nothing happened with our 10s or our 1s. So now we can take a look at 750 minus 450. So we are, we can do it again by subtracting that 400. So we have 700s minus 400s gives us 300s. So we still have 350. But now we're going to take away the 50. So now we can subtract 50, and 350 minus 50 gives us 300. Now this last one, in a traditional technique, teachers and parents, we might think of this as requiring borrowing or regrouping. And indeed, our students eventually are going to get to that standard algorithm, but right now, we want students to develop number sense. So we're going to withhold teaching them the standard algorithm for borrowing and all that sort of stuff. And first we're going to ensure that our stu students learn number sense. So again, we're going to subtract by 400 first. We're going to start with that greatest magnitude. So we're going to subtract the hundreds. That gives us 350. Now we have 80 that we're supposed to subtract. However, we only have 50 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract by 50. So that gives us down or brings us down to 300. So now what our students should see is that so far we have subtracted 450 and we need to subtract 30 more in order to subtract our 80. So I'm going to subtract 30 more and students might need to carefully count down by tens, and that's how they'll end up getting 270. And we should look back to make sure, did we really subtract 480? Yeah, we did. Here's 400, here's 50, here's 30. Total, that's 480. So we know our answer is 270. More practice using the arrow method. And this time, I'm going to just skip straight to this last problem right here, because that's the one that encompasses all of these other prerequisite steps. So we're going to start with 440. And I'm going to begin by subtracting 200. And that's going to give me 240. Now I have 240 but I need to subtract 90 more because I've already subtracted the 200 and so now I need to subtract out 90 more but right now I only have 40 here so let's start by subtracting 40 so that brings us down to 200 now so far I've subtracted 240 but I'm supposed to subtract 290. So that means I need to subtract 50 more, which leaves us with 150. So sure enough, 200 minus 40 minus 50, all total, this minus 200 minus 40 minus 50 means we've subtracted 290 altogether, and our answer is 150. 
One more example here. Now, teachers and parents, of course, my video is going much faster than we would want to, to present this for our students. So, of course, you're going to have to either, if you're showing this video to your kids, you're going to have to pause frequently and check for understanding. Or, parents and teachers, just use this as a video to teach you so that you can then go ahead and teach your students in a more appropriate way. But let's just go get going with this. 970, and we're going to subtract 490 here. So let's begin by subtracting 400. That gives us 570. Well, I have 70 in my tens place, but I need to subtract 90. So I'm going to begin by subtracting 70. That brings us down to 500. And so far I've subtracted 470. I need to subtract 20 more. And that brings us down to 480. So we can see by subtracting these numbers that equals 490. And so 970 minus 490 is equal to 480. And our last slide for this video, I really included this one because this is very different from the way uh, the teachers and parents likely experienced math when they themselves were kids. So um, we're going to start with this concept of labels, right? So we have 66 tens minus seven, uh, 30 tens. And so that's going to be 36 tens. And I'm going to throw in the word tens here. And then over here we have 66 tens minus 36 tens. Um, so that gives us 30 tens. And then we have... 66 tens take away 38 tens. So this one I'm going to probably use an arrow method. So we're going to do 66 and we're going to begin by taking away 30. So that gives us 36. And then I'm going to take away 6. That gives us 30. And now I'm going to take away 2 more that gives us 28. So our answer is 28 tens. Similarly, 67 tens take away 39 tens. So let's 67 and we're going to begin by taking away 30. So that gives us 37 now we have nine more to take away. So I'm going to begin by taking away seven. So that gives us down to 30. And then I have two more to take away. So I'm going to take away two more. And that gives us 28. Now 28 tens. Now that might seem like a strange answer because that's the exact same answer we had before. Well, that's because 66 got bumped up to 67, 38 got bumped up to 39, so our difference between the two stays constant, so it's still 28 tens. So what is the value of 28 tens? Well, that's going to be 280, and what is the value of 36 tens? That's 360. And as a refresher course on that, I'm not going to do the entire problem for 36 tens, but basically you would have your hundreds, your tens, and your ones, and you would have 36 tens in here, in your tens place, and every group of 10 equals 1 in the next column. Another group of 10 equals another dot in the hundreds column. A third group of 10 equals another 100 in the hundreds column. And then we would have six tens left 
over. So there's our 36 tens right here. There would be 10 in here, 10 in here, 10 in here, plus 6 down here. These 10 equal 100. These 10 equal 100. These 10 equal 100. So our answer is 3 in the 100, 6 in the tens, and nothing in the ones. So 360. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 4, where we are subtracting multiples of 10 with some additional, um, multiples of 100, with some additional 10s that we're subtracting out as well.